Hey, 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 what is going on, everybody? And welcome back to the Average Gamer Podcast. My name's Jordan, or Classic Evolved. And uh, welcome back. It's been, I think, a month since the last Average Gamer Podcast. Uh, I think this is episode 22, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a month. It's been a crazy, crazy month. Uh, You know, May into June. Uh, Wow. Wow. So last month, the last time we did this podcast, the big news on the block was uh, Corona, coronavirus. Now, obviously, the coronavirus is still around. I think it's still a pretty big deal, but uh, it's kind of got pushed back. Uh, And, you know, the whole uh, over the last month, uh, Black Lives Matter and all the protests uh, for George, George Floyd. Wow. That's it's late. It's late. I'm recording this late. But uh, yeah, that's been taking the forefront of the uh, the news recently. And obviously, you know, I support it. Go out. You know, I don't think anyone based on any reason whatsoever should should be uh, unequal or lesser than anyone else. I think, you know, I don't I don't know how that still exists in the world. I, I I'll never be able to understand it. But obviously, it's it's still an issue. So, you know, go out fight and get some uh some equal rights i know it's it's shouldn't even have to be said but for some reason this world is just a messed up place but on to some gamer news yeah i don't like to get whole a whole lot of uh political news up in here but you know wanted to just say that but uh gaming news over the last month uh not a whole lot's been happening. Obviously, you know, with the whole corona thing, a lot of, or actually every gaming event, uh, every gaming conference has been kind of pushed away. It, it's been canceled. Uh, now, a lot of, uh, I guess, gaming uh, companies are still throwing on, you know, their events as they would, but they're just doing them in an online format. The only game that I can think of that's come out in the last month was The Last of Us Part 2, and from Twitter and from a lot of the Twitch streamers who've played it, you know, obviously, any game that comes out in the next few years is going to be, you know, quote-unquote breathtaking. Uh, we're, we're hitting a kind of a pinnacle of uh, game design and game, uh, you know, looks, visuals, and I, I don't think we're really going to be seeing anything crazy uh visually it, it, i guess in a term in that in that term uh in the next you know couple years i think we've hit kind of a peak and obviously if you've paid attention to uh i guess movie making in the last little bit they're actually using the or a lot of ga- uh, gaming engines for their movies for backdrops and for different things so the same engines that you know make video games are some of the engines we're seeing be utilized for you know movies and movie sets and i think one of the most recent uh things you can i guess quote is the uh mandalorian and i'm trying to think of the engine i i I literally just had it in my head and now i'm forgetting not the unity engine no uh frostbite i think it's frostbite i believe the new frostbite engine's coming out And so a lot of movies are actually using it. And apparently the assets from the movies can actually be placed into and used by video games as well. Like they could take, say they built like a, in the Frostbite engine, they built, I don't know, a town. They could take that and put it into a different, format and into a into a video game practically and have like the same image uh i think it's fidelity and it, it it's crazy the the technology and obviously i i don't know everything but gaming i think you know visually is hitting sort of this peak in terms of looks but gameplay has kind of i'm gonna be honest i feel like gameplay of video games has kind of gone down uh, over the past not years you know obviously gaming has made tremendous strides but 
over the last little bit, I just, it's, it's odd. Uh, and I'll give an example of this, but I'm going to go back to The Last of Us Part Two. Uh, crazy good looking game, movement, your character, the gameplay, pretty fun. But then these storylines, and I don't know what it is recently, but these storylines are just getting absolutely just tossed into the dirt. Uh, Star Wars, Game of Thrones, uh, and now we're getting into video games. I'm trying to think of the other game that I can even mention, but obviously The Last of Us Part Two. Uh, it, it's crazy to 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 see how you know, does no, does no one play these games in full before they 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 release them? Does no one like review the script and go wait? Why are we killing off and spoilers? Why why are we killing off like the main one of the main characters of Last of Us like and, and in one of like the worst possible ways for them to die like I don't know who's making decisions with video games these days but you know one of the other examples I was gonna come up with with gameplay wise is uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now I think Call of Duty Modern Warfare you know, visually looks good, but the gameplay has kind of strayed from the old school Call of Duty. And like one one of the biggest things I can say is like, look at Modern Warfare Remastered, right? Uh, came out, what, like a couple years ago. The game looks great. I mean, it can kind of be compared-ish to Modern Warfare, right? But they have that old gameplay, that old style, you just straight up gameplay from Call of Duty, and it's fun. This mod, new Modern Warfare, it just feels like they're trying to push into this like almost realism, you know, esque like they're to the point where it just it the game sucks. <laughs> and I know a lot of people still like the game, and Warzone's cool, and all this stuff, but I just can't get behind the game. It, it hurts for me to uh, to play the game, and uh, I just watched the Eve, Eve Drops podcast with Scump, the most recent one, you know, Scump and Hex, and you know they were talking about the game, and, and it's it's funny because you know all these people say this game is so good, and, and I'm sure it, it has a ton of players, but you see all these pro players, and obviously no one, the majority, don't care about the pro scene. The majority of the people who play Call of Duty don't watch Call of Duty, you know? That's just kind of... I mean, they probably watch, you know, their favorite YouTubers. But, like, in general, you know, they don't watch Call of Duty like, you know... I, like, I would watch Call of Duty. Like, they 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 watched MLG. They were on MLG.TV when Scump was streaming on there with Nadeshot. Like, they, they don't know. They don't... <laughs> It's a different world, and I, I don't think a whole lot of people have really seen the esports world of of Call of Duty. It's a uh, it's just one of those things. But uh, as I was saying, I, I just watched the Eve Jobs podcast, and it was so funny because Scump, uh, you know, was, was saying how he can't really say anything about the game. Uh, he he recently got fined for saying something on another uh, Huntsman uh, little podcast they did when they just kind of happened to bring up the game and he was just talking about kind of how, how bad it was. But you see like all these names, you know, just kind of leaving the game. And the most recent one over the past month was Karma uh, and he's retired from Call of Duty and will he come back? I mean, I don't blame him if he doesn't. You know, he he's chilling, streaming, and doing what he wants. And he can say what he wants. He can do what he wants. And he's just vibing, you know? And honestly, th that's the wave. But, you know, Skump was saying how, you know, as long as Call of Duty's kind of there and he's still performing, he'll keep doing it. But, you know, for a lot of the uh, Call of Duty scene, if you're watching this, I'm sure... Well, actually, I don't know if you're watching this, if you pay attention to the COD scene, but there's a lot of guys uh, who could easily, easily just quit COD and stream full time and they'd be fine. You know, it, it was funny because a lot of the eavesdrop podcast was talking about, you know, these names uh, who who had quit 
especially from the Call of Duty scene, you know, quit Call of Duty and have blown up. And, you know, some of the, I guess, more recent ones have been, uh, you know, TP, Courage. Uh, if you didn't know, Courage was a caster for Call of Duty for the longest time. And it was so funny when, when he left Call of Duty and then he started to kind of blow up with Fortnite. And people called him a traitor and all this stuff but i got all the respect for him man uh he made a huge decision and it's worked out well 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 in his favor uh and then the other one i was gonna say was uh not nade shot why was i thinking nade shot i mean obviously nade shot he retired and now you know he owes 100 thieves i mean that's a little bit different uh nick Merckx. nick Merckx was another one it's crazy. A lot of, you know, COD scene guys uh, making it big on Twitch. And, and it's always, you know, dope to see. But that was one of the big things they were talking about over there on their podcast. And uh, I thought it was, you know, really funny because uh, over the last couple of days, uh, Mixer has shut down. Yeah, Mixer is gone. They're They're moving to Facebook gaming. Now... You might be thinking, well, didn't Shroud and uh, Ninja just go to Mixer? Yeah, they did. And, uh, you know, Facebook Gaming offered them double what they got offered at Mixer to move over to Facebook Gaming. And they both declined. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so they got paid out by Microsoft. And they're, you know, I think Ninja's 30 million richer, Shroud uh, 10 million richer and they're just vibing and they can they can go back to twitch or they can go to youtube now obviously there was the drama with ninja and his twitch channel when he left to mixer uh so i wouldn't be surprised if ninja goes to youtube because youtube's pretty good i mean you know courage is on youtube and his viewership's pretty good to, to be fair uh I, I, I shroud more than likely would go back to twitch though uh shroud i see shroud all the time on twitch uh in, in different streams especially you know summit 1g i watch summit 1g all the time but i've been seeing shroud so often in the chat and i'll be like wait shroud <laughs> it's funny but I, i'm assuming shroud will will be back to uh to twitch more than likely more than likely but that was one of the big things that just came out it's crazy mixer is closing now, if, you, if you're wondering what's happening to all the other Mixer streamers, well, if you were partnered with Mixer, they're willing to pay you, I think, 2500 to uh, go to Facebook Gaming if you were partnered, which is, I mean, what are you going to do? If I were on Mixer, I'd just go to Twitch. I mean, what's the point? Just go to Twitch. <laughs> I mean, you're just, you're, you're declining the inevitable. I mean, Twitch is, it's the biggest streaming platform you're oh god you probably just heard that i don't know what <laughs> i had another youtube video apparently lined up i don't know what what was that uh but yeah over the over the past uh month man not a whole lot has been happening in gaming you know in a major way uh i know GTA 5 and, you know, GTA RP has kind of been making a little bit of a reinsurgence. You know, obviously Summit 1G is kind of going back to it. GTA RP is kind of always, always uh, there. It's kind of always been there <laughs> in a, not in a way, but just it's, it's kind of always been there. Uh, but aside from that, aside from, uh, you know, the... And sorry if you can hear me typing. I am typing. Oh, God. <laughs> Aside from, you know, that news from uh, Ninja and Shroud going to Mixer and then now they're free. That, that was one of the biggest news, honestly, of, of the month. Oh, and there, there's the text. I'm sure you heard that. Sorry, I'm, t I'm trying to type in my, uh, actually, uh, you guys don't care. I was looking at my stocks because <laughs> I wanted to uh, mention my, my stocks, uh, which not going to lie, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Uh, 
I'm up right now, if you're wondering. I feel uh, feel pretty good, not going to lie, with my stocks. But, uh, yeah, if you're wondering about me, man, uh, I think I said this in my first podcast. Uh, I'm working at the, the Home Depot. <laughs> Still working there. Uh, when I first started, I started uh, part-time, went to full-time. Then over some some things that have happened, I'm back to part-time, and thank God. Now, I, I don't mind working. I love working, you know? It, it's it's chill. I mean, I, I I like the grind. But uh, when I first started, you know, looking for a job, I, I was just planning to kind of work a few days a week, make some money, be on the plus side, and, you know, just do that while I'm doing school. Now, I actually do online school. I did online school before Corona hit and everything shut down. So for me, school hasn't changed at all. Uh, completely. Zero change. So I, I'm still in school. I'm looking left and right and see all my friends on you know Instagram and they're just chilling, doing whatever they want. I'm like, I'm still in school. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's it's... It's not that bad. It's not that bad. But uh, as I was saying, you know, I'm back to part time, and, and it's really nice to be uh, to be back to part time. But I, I've kind of been kind of considering getting in another part time job during the day. But I, I don't know. On another note, though, I've been looking at some cars. Now, if you guys have any recommendations uh, <laughs> for cars. Obviously, I'm I'm on the way low end. You know, obviously, I want to be... I'm looking at used cars, all-wheel drive. I Right now, I live in the big old state of Colorado. And we get... We don't... I'm not going to say we get a lot of snow. You know, I grew up in, you know, New England. So, I, I feel like we got more snow up in the Northeast than we do, you know, here. Even at the altitude of Colorado. But, um... I'm looking for a car with all-wheel drive. So if you guys know any all-wheel drive, cheaper sidecars, I'm looking like, you know, 15 to 20, uh, that range. But try to keep the miles low. You know, hit me up. Let me know. I know. <laughs> it's funny because all these uh, all-wheel drive cars that I've been looking at over the past little bit, they're, they're pretty ugly cars. <laughs> now, obviously, I'm not sitting here expecting you know the greatest thing ever you know the not expecting like a 2020 bmws yeah i get it you know i'm i get it but you know it's it's just kind of funny uh just looking at some of these cars and it's just like yeah i don't know but if you have any ideas let me know let me know uh, tomorrow, uh, what is, oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm dumb. I've uh, been, uh, sports, sports wise. I, I, I want to just get through everything sports wise though. Most sports are on, you know, still on a lockdown. I know the NBA is coming back, uh, soon. Uh, MLB, I think is coming back sort of soon, but soccer or football is, is back. Uh, I've been watching Barcelona. Messi, one goal away from 700. And he had so many chances to score today. And it was just depressing. They played uh, Atletico Bilbao, I believe. 1-1-0. One, one, I think Rakitic scored. Yeah, it's it's depressing. But at least some sports are back, right? But I know most you know Americans don't care about soccer, so... <laughs> What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah, oh yeah, actually, the MLB just announced. Oh, it's right here. The MLB anticipates beginning its 2020 regular season in approximately 1 month. Now, I doubt they're going to have fans, right? But 1 month it's going to be a 60 game season. Sounds pretty good. Uh, baseball's always been confusing to me because like they they play each other like three games in a row or whatever it is they play like how a hundred something games like what I'm, I, I, it's confusing to me i'll never understand baseball 
I don't mind sitting and watching it, you know, but I actually I actually want football back cuz this season's going to be real fun. Uh obviously, I as I was saying, you know, I grew up up northeast, so New England fans, right? Luckily, no, I'm not a New England Patriots fan. But uh with Tom Brady at the Buccaneers, yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a weird year uh for sports especially. Especially basketball is going to be interesting now if you didn't know if you don't watch soccer uh they've been injecting i guess i'll say that injecting (laughs) uh fifa noises into the broadcast so it doesn't sound so bad i guess quote unquote if you if you want to say bad but uh so like a play will be happening and then like you'll I it'll it sounds like there's a crowd there but then you look up and there's no one in the stands and i wonder if uh the nba is going to do that kind of with like the 2k noises because without it we're just going to be hearing squeaking sneakers on the floor <laughs> i don't know i was i was just thinking about that it's like huh yeah, that that would be interesting i i don't know when the nh nhl season starts i don't i don't know when that i don't know anything about hockey so i couldn't really tell you much about that but uh i think i think that's a ways out if i'm not mistaken but i might be wrong i mean honestly I, i'm probably wrong but yeah so man that's it uh as far as me though which none of you care about <laughs> uh the last podcast i talk i think i was talking about iRacing and playing iRacing i did upload a couple iRacing uh videos of me you know racing uh yeah yeah <laughs> i did the mazda mx5 on to to scuba circuit and then i was running street stock on usa international speedway i have been playing iRacing a lot over the past month unfortunately did not get a win over the past month. And I actually stopped my membership because I, I, I've been playing iRacing over the last three months, actually. It was a $5 membership for three months, I believe. It was like a new player deal. I got to C-Class Road. I was running IMSA, so it's a uh, mixed car class. And I was running the Mercedes GT3, which is the gt3 class so i run with the mercedes gt3s and the audi gts and imsa is more of an an endurance race so it's like 45 minute races unlike the like formula or like the f3 formula uh like they're like 15 minutes and it, it was fun but one of the most frustrating things uh, I was in, I started in 10th in my class, but it's a mixed class race. So we have a lot of faster cars on the track other than my car. And I, I was going to, I was going to go with a faster car, but I figured I'd start slow and work my way up through the cars. Uh, but last lap, I, I started in 10th. I got down to third last lap though. I get passed by two cars in my class. I go down to fifth, uh, yeah, it was depressing <laughs> because my my tires gave out. I I had no grip on the turns, and obviously I gotta you know you gotta learn how to keep your tires and, and not absolutely destroy them. And I, I'm terrible at that. But uh, I've actually put iRacing on a hold because I'm not gonna lie to you, iRacing is expensive. It is I think it's like thirty three bucks for three months, but then every week the track changes. And then the seasons last, like, I think it's like three months, but every week the track changes and the track each week is 15 bucks, unless you have the track or if it's one of the free tracks. So pretty much each week you're jetting out 15 bucks for the track. Now, a lot of people buy the tracks they want and that they like, and then they just race in whatever series is running that, you know, track. I don't know. But I, I, I was kind of losing my, not my interest in racing. You know, I'm going to be following Formula. Uh, I think their first race is actually coming up July. Uh, but 
I love formula and I, I love watching racing, but I don't know. I just, it takes a lot of time out of the day to, to, to learn these tracks, to perfect them, then to run these races, especially the IMSA, you know, 45, it, it's about an hour and a half you're, you're putting in dedicated to racing and, and, and it's, it's a grind. And I kind of just lost the drive for the grind. Uh, you know, I, I can sit down, play Rocket League, open it up within like 30 seconds, be in a match, and the match lasts is five minutes. And then that's it. We're chilling. You know, uh, Dead by Daylight, I've been playing a ton of. Hop in, match lasts like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Boom. Next match, you know. There's something so nice about that. And I racing just forces kind of you to, to be dedicated to a lot of time. And I just, I didn't want to put the time and especially the money since I've been kind of looking at cars uh, or possibly getting a new car. So, but, uh, yeah, speaking of rocket league got grand champ, but normally, you know, every season I've been hitting grand champ, but I never actually hit the grand champ rewards. So each, you know, division you have to win 10 matches so when a season resets even if you're in grand champ you start at the silver rewards and then you have to win 10 matches for silver 10 matches for gold 10 for plat 10 for diamond 10 for champ then 10 for grand champ and i got the grand champ rewards i won 10 matches in grand champ and now i'm actually pretty far into grand champ uh i think i'm starting to get towards the 1600 uh, mmr which still isn't that good but it's a pretty good feeling that, you know, I'm at least in the upper echelon of players in the game. And actually, I, I think I can look. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I am in the top 0.8% of players in the world. Nice. <laughs> I, I guess that's cool. Uh... I actually don't know what I technically would be. I don't actually think I can see like a super detailed thing of it, but I, I don't know. It's been, it's been cool to uh, kind of see where, or see improvement in Rocket League for myself. Cause I've been kind of stuck in the champs to be at grand champ and actually be, you know, improving feels good. And I, I love Rocket League, but you know, I'll never take Rocket League serious enough to like actually want to try to go pro. You know, I'm not, I'm not like that, especially with like most games these days. I just, I'm not, I'm not like that anymore. <laughs> I've given up on my, on my dream. Uh, but, uh, I, I do kind of want to start streaming maybe a little bit, uh, just a little bit. But at the same time, you know, I say this, you know, like, like. I was just watching, you know, the Eve Jobs podcast and they were saying, you just got to do it, all this stuff. And then I'll sit down tomorrow and it'll hit like two o'clock and I'll be like, nah, <laughs> I know it's, it's bad. It's bad. Then, you know, maybe I should, or maybe I should do YouTube videos. I don't know, but I, I always say this to myself and then I don't do it or I'll, I'll try to stream. I'll do it for one day and then I'll be like, I could have been watching, you know, someone and be chilling and having a good time <laughs> that's normally how it goes but maybe maybe we'll be streaming obviously down below my twitter if you want to follow to see if i go live do it up i know we didn't really talk about a whole lot at all for this episode 22 of the average gamer podcast but at least uh you guys got an update on on life you know life's going good we're moving forward getting into the summer months and then next thing you know it'll be winter but hopefully the next podcast will come a little bit sooner with a little more maybe relevant relevant news or something but uh thanks again so much for tuning in to the average gamer podcast and i'll see you guys in the next one peace <laughs>